Happy Friday, everyone, and thanks for checking it as we take a look at your national coast-to-coast -coast forecast. We have a tropical update for you. Some interesting happenings with the remnants of Franklin, which actually became our first hurricane in the 2017 Atlantic hurricane season. We'll talk about the severe threat and, of course, those cooler temperatures. But here's a look at the remnants of Franklin. Of course, it diminished over uh, parts of central uh, Mexico yesterday. A lot of heavy rain in there, but now it's moving into the eastern Pacific, and that's what it looks like as of early Friday. The uh, latest forecast track from this actually has it becoming, or at least has a high probability of uh, tropical formation once again within the next five days as it drifts west. Another moderate chance of tropical formation with the wave just south of that. And we're still keeping an eye on a couple of different waves here just southeast of the um, United States. Moderate chance here. Latest forecast track has that uh, going a little bit farther east of the Carolina coast, but then uh, another wave just off the eastern uh, flank of Florida has some showers and storms there. All right, heat Concerns now showing up down into the coastal bend of Texas, still in the Pacific Northwest. That ridge does build a little bit more into the weekend, so some of that heat still uh, there in the southwest and over California. The extended outlook does show that will be warmer as we approach the end of the month here. So marginal risk of severe weather across the front range of the Rockies, also in the eastern uh, portions of the Great Lakes down to the Oha Valley, and then a slight risk of severe weather out near the Black Hills of South Dakota on your Saturday and uh, continuing to see an isolated severe threat along the front range of the Rockies. So there will be pockets of heavy rain, especially the ascension of the Southern Plains, maybe a few areas of heavier rainfall mid-Atlantic states down into the Gulf Coast region. Uh, but again, the heaviest rainfall in this particular corridor, you can see uh, maybe one to two plus inch tallies. Oklahoma City, uh, a little more than two and a half inches there, and then some decent rainfall out near Atlanta as well, where we actually have some flash flood watches in place in a few spots. Temperatures out west, uh, still pretty warm, 88 in Portland and 95 in Salt Lake.